Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from Real Illusion Forum. Uh, some user there, and this is where I'm going to post it, wanted to know if you could have a uh, CC3 character and and then bring it in a, and use the head of the CC3 character on the body of something else, like a non-CC3 character. And you certainly can do that. I don't know whether this is a, what they call a non-standard human or just some other type of character. You can, you can do that. I brought in this character here. This uh, actually is based around the CC3 human, but the principles are exactly the same. So here you have the, this character, which I think is, yeah, I think this is may even be a CC4, but it's, uh, the principles are exactly the same. Brought it in here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, what we want is we, the, the head from this one we want, and we want the body from this one, okay? So essentially, you can take this, and you're going to remove everything but the head. You can do that a lot of different ways. You can go into the, uh, the textures for the thing. And remember, they're digital skin, so we would go into the body, and the first thing we would have to do is change them because the digital skin doesn't have an easy um, transparency. So we change it to PBR, and then come down here and just turn the opacity down to zero. And so there, their body disappears. And you'd have to do that on all the other parts. I don't want to do this on too much, but we'll do this on the arm. And you can actually uh, do this all at once. I think you can select more than one. And it uh, doesn't matter whether they're traditional PBR. Either way, we just want something that has an opacity slider. And knock it down. That's enough. And then maybe just the, uh, 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 the legs. I think that's all I'll do. I won't bother with the underwear. I think you get the idea. Change that again to PBR traditional, doesn't matter which one, and just change the opacity all the way down to zero. Okay, so now you have just this head portion thereof. Uh, the only tricky part is trying to align this with the other character. This works pretty good because the armor is going to cover this up. If you had another body, you'd have to have your clothing on it, or you'd have to be very careful on how you would align this skin with the skin of the other character. So in this particular one, we select this character, we go to Align, Align 2, and we select this character. And we go X, Y, and you can do Z also. And so now it's aligned there. And so now if we go into the, oops, let's go into the scene, and we take out the helmet so you can see. And there we go. And those characters are aligned. And as long as now they're aligned together, and as long as you apply the same animation to both of them, they will move together. So, for example, if I bring in, I've got some animation here somewhere. Now, let's go into downloads, and we'll drag in some of this uh, uh, motion on this guy here. Takes a bit of time to load in the motion. There we go. And then we, we also need to then add it to the same motion to the other thing, which is this other armory thingy. We'll make sure we get it loaded into that. And so now, because we've loaded in the same motion to both, when we when we run them, there they'll work together. So that's essentially how you can put a, a head of one character onto a body of another character. But it really, again, depends upon how the two match up. In this particular case, it works because this armor is covering up that uh, that head portion that's that's not uh, in the right place. But if you have uh, you know, just some more skin there, it's going to be very difficult to disguise the fact that there's skin there. So um, anyway, hopefully this gives you an idea, and we will see you on the forums.